Hello, I'm glad you could join us. Today we're going to show you a brief demonstration on an OGP SmartScope MVP. What you're about to see uh, on your screen uh, is a model of the demo of what we've actually programmed the part initially to do and to measure. You're also going to see the machine movements as we do the part measurements and that will appear on the other side of the, uh, the video. Uh, as we go, we'll give you an explanation including showing you your final results and some of the printout capabilities that the machine has. So without any further ado, we'll go ahead and proceed asking the uh, machine to go ahead and do the initial measurements and do a part run. After that's completed, We'll show you the initial printout and your results that you can achieve. And then in addition to that, we will show you how simple the programming will be to do. So for the next few moments, I'm going to be quiet and let the machine do the work. As you can see as it runs, um, right now we're picking up uh, measurements through a scan process and uh, it's using the, uh, the trace capabilities that the machine has. When it's in the area that it's currently in, it's using the field of view processing as it goes about measurement, which has the capability of joining segments of the part together and giving you the results accordingly. Right now we're measuring a bolt hole pattern and we're going to look at the difference between this bolt hole pattern that we're achieving and the circularity of the bolt hole pattern in conjunction with the center hole and the concentricity. So that completed the run. You'll notice it completed the run rather quickly in 43 seconds. The next thing we're going to do is look at the printed data or the printed results, which this is the window here that you achieved in. This can be transferred easily to a printer or it can be easily transferred to a statistical package. But here you notice at the top line it's giving you your actual results, the tolerances that are set to, the deviation, and if it exceeds the deviation. If it's plus or minus, as you see further down in the uh, printed matter, uh, that tells you if it's running 25%, 50%, 75%, of the tolerance window. So now we're going to go back to the model, we're going to go back to the imaging window. We're going to show you how easy the programming is to do. So initially we want to go back to the image and we'll get the light to come back on. We're going to proceed up to the corner here to actually do the physical measurement. The nice thing that you can notice as we do that you have a, a blue square area. That blue square area indicates where the camera is actually currently positioned in relationship to the part. When we go back to the image window, you'll now see the circle that I'm about to measure. And just by doing a simple double click on the edge of that circle, it actually physically measures the circle. You'll notice over here, it gives me my results in the diameter my XY positioning from wherever our zero is set in relationship to the part. And if I want to go in and tolerance that part, it's this easy that I'm going to say the nominal should be 100 thousandths on this diameter. And I may want to retain the current tolerancing of plus or minus 5 thousandths as you can see there. Once that's done, we'll click back to the results window. There's our results window and notice it's showing in green and the part's actually physically in tolerance. So, as you can see, that's pretty much straightforward and actually measuring the circle. Uh, we'll say OK to that. Once we say OK to that, it's now in the current results, and it will now show in the final printout. We'll go ahead and do one other dimension while we're here, showing you how easy the programming is. Here, I'm going to go in and construct a distance from that circle to this circle down here. All we have to do is come over here to the construction area. We're going to call up our distance window. Once we come over here, we'll click on that particular circle, which is 36. We'll come down here and click on that circle, which is circle 2. You'll notice instantly our, our dimensions come up of 125 thousandths 
in relationship to that distance and uh, also it's positioning in an x-y axis. It's one-tenth out of being perfectly perpendicular. If we decide that we do want to tolerance any of that, we can just click on the box there, go to our tolerance window. Uh, it is supposed to be actually 125 thousandths, and maybe we would want to make that plus or minus five also. Oops, sorry about that. Plus or minus five thousandths. And And then once we go back to our results, you'll notice our results are in green, showing that it's intolerance. And this basically concludes the um, presentation of what we've done as far as measuring the uh, demo part. And of course, if you have any other questions, uh, please do not have, hesitate to contact Advanced Machinery uh, in regards to questions you might have on the system.